Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we are doing a bit of a collaboration with the channel Little Chihuahua Big World as uh, she does a parody on a uh, rather old and decrepit female frauditor who may have seen the light. But has she really seen the light? Hell if I know. So let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and uh, see if she really did see the light or if this is all just one big scam to get one over on us. Hey guys, Highway Star here for a tiny bit of fun. And guess what? Yes, you guessed it. We've got part two of an interview with the world's oldest living female frauditor. Let's find out some more info about her. Maybe she, this time she'll reveal her channel name. Hey, uh, is, is this thing on? Oh, it's on. It's on. Okay. I... You're on the air. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry it's been a while since I last talked to y'all, but I it's been really rough. Well, how's it been uh, rough on you? Well, I know you and little Chi are busy moving, and I'm trying to make plans around y'all schedule and uh, I've had a few things I wanted to say. Uh-huh. Well, we're able to take a break from all of that. And, oh, uh, that's good. That's good. Hey, can you pin that camera over to that little dog? Oh, little tiny? Yeah, I sure can. Look at that. Cutie. Yeah, let's do a close-up of that boy. Look at there. Look how cute that guy is. Yeah. He, he's a little kitty. Everyone needs a son to this little guy's channel. And what was the name of the channel again? Little Chihuahua Big World. Ah, yeah. I forgot about that. So, yeah. Yeah, everyone's son to that little guy right there. He's worth it. I, I watched his channel and I've had a lot of fun watching it. Yeah. So anyway, anyway. Nice to see you again, Tiny. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. I, I've got this rash shirt on. I see you're following rash. Hey. I, know, awesome I didn't say blossom. I was following. I didn't say I was following. Oh, well, uh, how did you get the shirt? Uh, Geritol. Oh, News Now Jared Paul. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dick, How, how's that old fart ass doing? Uh, don't ask. Don't ask. Okay. Don't ask. <laughs> anyway, I've, since we last had, since we last talked, I think, I don't know, I might be turning over a new leaf myself. It's a trap! Yeah, I would not believe a fraudulent conversion story. I mean, they're so often disingenuous and uh, lead you down a road that you really don't want to go down. But let's go ahead and see what this uh, old fart of a frauditor has to say. Oh, really? Well, I have looked into some of these channels, these... Frauditor channels. They're not auditors. They're frauditors. All they care about is money. It's not about transparency. It's about money. That's it. And that's it. That's not what the movement was about. So I think I'm just going to hang up my equipment, what I got, and just look into something else. <clears throat> Yeah, what what do you think you might be looking into? I, I don't know yet, Highway Star. It's just one of those things that uh, I'm disappointed with how the community has been going. I'm very disappointed in it. Do you know that a lot of them, they carry pepper spray with the intent I, now? That, I, I saw that they, they use it on innocent people. Mm. But as an alleged ex-frauditor you yourself, 
shouldn't you have the philosophy that there are no good people in the world? I mean, you treat everybody around you like a uh, pile of crap, and, uh, well, that's why you have to carry pepper spray all the damn time, because if you're going to treat everybody around you like crap, you might as well be prepared for uh, retaliation just in case. Why is that? Because they're such snowflakes. They're scared of their camera getting touched. So they call it assault. And if the person keeps on touching their camera or yeah. getting too close, they'll well, pepper can, spray. Well, I can understand the, about the touching their camera or touching their equipment, but because, because I saw one video where this guy Spray them to this other man's business. That's not what you do with pepper spray. If, if you're in danger, yes, use it. Exactly. But not to, oh, because someone starts following you and, uh, no. Oh, we all know who that was. And in case you've forgotten, here's a reminder. If you get arrested or go talking to the presses, then your name has no more privacy. It's there for all the world to see. To file a strike is just absurd. It's now on public record. You can go and Google it, so you'll just have to swallow it. Jason Gutterman. Your name's Jason Gutterman. Jason Gutterman. Your name's Jason Gutterman. These, the, these auditors are frauditors. All, all they care about is, I don't know, it's, it's just... My uh, going to me. Agreed. And you know, none of them have journalism degrees. I didn't have a journalism degree either, but I never said I was a journalist. Well, there you go. Yeah. You know, yeah, there's a way to record without having to be a journalist, but saying they're journalists under the First Amendment, I don't know. Mm, I agree with you wholeheartedly. So it's and it is really a worldwide pandemic now. Uh, you know, it's happening across the pond. It's happening in Europe. It's happening in Canada. All across Europe. I haven't seen anything like that. But. Everywhere except for Southeast Asia. Oh, wow. Because if you were to try to do. The kind of things that these fraudsters here in the states alive. do, you, would you be wouldn't unalived. be alive. You would be in the law. That's I it. I wholeheartedly agree. So anybody who said that I was a fraud or whatever, I'm just, I'm just making this stuff. I mean, you know, it's these these idiots that are out there now waving their cameras and everything. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. It is, you know, and people yeah. just need to realize that it's you know you can't make you can't just go do what you want to do. <clears throat> And you know the vast majority of them. You know what they call you know what they call us. They, I they, heard it I heard yeah. it in some videos. They call the good people bootnickers. You know, until recently I had never bothered to look up the definition of bootlicker. And this is the most common uh, definition that I could find. And uh, I don't see myself uh, or anybody that I know of that actually fits this. I mean, this is kind of a definition right here that uh, would suggest that they are a gold digger trying to kiss up to the uh, power and establishment uh, to get uh, something for themselves. Now, I have actually seen people that do that, not any personal friends of mine but people I've worked with who actually are bootlickers in this particular definition. But this was from my past life as a Walmart associate well over a decade ago by now. I won't get into specifics on this particular uh, video, but needless to say, this guy was definitely up the store manager's rear end. 
But at any rate, it kind of makes you wonder if uh, these frauditors ever really look at this terminology that they tend to spout off. I mean, they really don't seem to think at all, though, do they? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't never licked a boot in my life, and I ain't a bastard. But because you... you call me a boot licker, you better have the proof. Better show the receipts, that's right. Yes. But in retrospect, you know what they are? They are really the boot licker. I, I, I saw a bunch of videos where they say, call the police, call the police. I was screaming at my computer saying, you're the one that's calling them the bootlickers, but yet you want the cops to come. Why? Oh, it's because they know that the uh, police officers are there to serve and protect. And if they need protection, that's who they go to after they have antagonized everybody in the area. Exactly. I mean, exactly. It, it don't make sense. It don't make sense how we start. You know what? You're on the road. You're on the road to I mean, good. I don't understand people. My goodness. And saying that the First Amendment is your press pass. Uh, no. It does not mean that, Jack. The First Amendment is your press pass. It is not. No, it's not. Especially with the camera? Sonny, the cameras, whenever the First Amendment was written, were not invented yet. Yeah, exactly. So why would they say the camera? No, I've had enough. I've had enough. This is nuts. And... I don't know if you've seen it. There was a video of this person in Florida. And she, he, or it, whatever you want to call uh, it. What are you talking about? Well, she is in a government building. You know what kind of, you know what she showed them? She showed them a little piece of cardboard square with a lanyard on it. And she had used crayons and drew a <laughs> stick figure with long blonde hair. Oh my God. And it said press oh pass. No. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That was her crayons press pass. Crayons are for children. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that has to be one of the sickest burns ever ever seen anybody give to Lana. I mean, come on now, uh, uh, little Chihuahua, uh, have some mercy on that poor little frauditor. <laughs> That's My funny. goodness, crayons are for children to color with. That's funny. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got so excited, <laughs> yeah. and laugh. laughing got me caught. Oh my goodness. Well, <clears throat> everybody, yeah, I always start, you know, I just figured this way. <clears throat> oh, dang, excuse me, sorry. And so, anyway, but yeah, I done some looking on the internet myself on my computer at the home, and some of these guys are just. I was shaking my head, like, oh my goodness, what in the world have we done? This is... I exactly. What what has the First Amendment audit community morphed into? Exactly. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. <coughs> oh my goodness. You need some more, you need some Geritol? I know. I got no, some I up don't. here behind me. Ah, uh, no, I don't need <laughs> your talk. No, no. But anyway, now my shirt here, yeah, Rising Shine with this guy. I did check him out one morning, and he's good. I like him. Heck yeah, he's the bee's knees, isn't he? Yeah, what's his <laughs> channel name? Frauditor Follies? Frauditor Follies. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I'm subscribed to him. Good. And anyone Good. else out there, y'all need to subscribe too. 
That guy's a smart cookie. He yes, knows he this is. stuff. Yes, he is. Well, guys, we're running out of time, so we're going to end it here. Any last words? Uh, that I can think of no, but guys out there, if you see a camera, you do not have to be in the camera. And all they're doing is bullying you. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up right there. Uh, Frauditors are nothing but a bunch of bullies, and that's why they end up in a prison, jail, or anywhere else like that, because, well, they think they can bully their way around, commit crimes any time they want, and just act like total douchebags. But you know what? There are always consequences to their actions, and that's why they hate the world, because they get caught so often. Now, uh, there is a, another part to this video, so let's go ahead and see what she has to say. So let's carry on with this gibbering old fart of a frauditor, and hopefully there'll be something uh, interesting that she'll say. Uh, because, you know, frauditors are generally not that uh, intelligent anyway, but she seems to have... Uh, figured out that that same thing anyway so let's see how well her progression is to coming back to the light shall we hey guys i always start here and as promised we have part three of the world's oldest female frauditor i believe she finally remembered her channel name let's dive into it and see what we find out Hey, am I on camera now? You're on camera. Okay. You're okay. on camera. Okay. <laughs> hey, Holly Star. Name and badge number. Well, I don't have a badge number. Oh, you got to have a number. Well, no, I don't have a number. But my name is Highway Star. Ah, uh, okay. Um... Let me see, did I get my camera shaking? I can't stop it like this day. Ah. Well, <laughs> anyway, how is it? I know I, I can figure out who you are. All I've got to do is FOIA request your name. Yeah, but see, I'm not a public official, so. Well, yeah, you are. From what little G told me, you're fixed to retire from working in a dairy plant. Yes, that's true, that's true. But I've never been a public official, so... Well, you drive a truck, right? I do, but... Uh, well, okay, then I can FOIA request all your information, all your work record. You better be careful, Highway Star. This frauditor may uh, get a hold of your information and uh, dox you personally, or she may sell it to uh, Goat Boy for him to do it. And believe me, when he tries to dox you... He does a very poor job of it. Uh-huh. And I don't answer questions, so don't you dare ask me any. Well. Uh, how about that, Sonny? <laughs> See, your phone right. was off. I turned it off. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Uh, uh, oh, man, I tell you what. So, how you been doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Cool. Just cool beans. Been, cool beans. Uh, yeah, I, I tell you what, I, I'm just going to quit watching these idiots. Their videos ain't worth the hooting any. They ain't worth the hooting any. Well, no, that's not always true. All you have to do is watch some of these anti-frauditor channels. They're going to skip through all the boring crap. And get right to the meat and potatoes. That's yeah, the part you I have watch. watched quite a few. I've watched a man called, uh, oh goodness, what's his name? Uh, he looks like a cowboy. Unclean hands. Now he's really good. He's I good. like him. He makes me laugh. Yeah. And Blackheart Knight, he's good. He looks like an old. English night, but he's good. Oh, yeah, I've, I've watched a lot of them. And, yeah, some of these idiots, no wonder they're ending up in jail. My 
goodness. Yeah, look at all the stupid stuff they do. Oh, gosh. Yeah, one channel called LIA. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, don't forget to put the R in parentheses because ultimately that's what he is. <laughs> Notice that whenever I saw that, I'm like, don't they mean? Didn't they forget a letter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. And that's the one that stands out the most to me. And oh my goodness. He acts like he's, well, I don't want to say anything and get anyone in trouble, you or. Little G or whoever I would get. Yeah, you're not going to get anybody. In but trouble. anyway. Speak your mind, dear lady. Uh, hey, I remembered my channel name. I remembered where I went by. Oh, what is it? Yeah. She <laughs> might get a laugh out of it. But at the time, it's what was going on in my life. And I'm like... Might as well, might as well go with it. It is called News Now Menopause. You just, you can't unlearn something like that, you know. Oh no, look at the symptoms. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, hey, that's that's catchy. <laughs> yeah, I was going through, starting to go through menopause at that time, and I'm like, heck with it, might as well use it. Might as well go. For it. Wow, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe sometime you can meet up with News Now Jared Talk oh, and uh, see, what can, see what y'all can get going. Never know. Uh, well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I'm, even if I could, I wouldn't do this Friday anymore. It's just too stupid. Yeah, I hear you. Do it. I, I hear you. Well, I mean... You know what you guys could do just like I don't know if you've ever heard of him before. He is he is out of Ironton, Ohio, and his channel name is Ironton Auditor. Now he does it the right way. He will position himself across the road from the traffic stop and just simply watches. He doesn't try to inject himself into the traffic stop. Oh. He doesn't try to get arrested. Well, I don't know. I might, I might check out that channel. I don't know. Yet. Yeah, check him out. He's really good. Hey, 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 everybody! It's your boy Douche Canoe Fraud. It's here. Well, in terms of quality frauditors, you can't get any lower than News Now. Douche canoe at this point because he is under house arrest and still can't go out and do any audits. So, yeah, how can you judge somebody on their job when they haven't really been able to do their job? At least News Now Voodoo is able to go out every once in a while by escaping and, uh, well, successfully escaping and terrorizes local neighborhood. Hey, I see they've got someone here who's. Supposedly the oldest female frauditor. Oh. And who are you? Well, my name's Douche Canoe. And what's your name? Oh, my name is News Now Menopause. Oh, my menopause? Isn't that something that women go through? Yes, it is, Sunny. And trust me, you don't want to go through this. It's rough. Oh, well, hey, you, you seem like you're a tough old lady. Oh, really? I'm a tough old lady, huh? You care to... Oh, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. Okay, Sonny. Uh, you're a frauditor? No, I'm not a frauditor. My cousin Voodoo is. Sonny, with that camera, you're a frauditor, so you need to rethink your life. Oh, news now, I'm going to pause. Uh, we'll talk more later. I 
think we will. So, hey everybody, Douche Canoe here. I just wanted to say hi to the oldest female frauditor and see what she's been up to. So, anyway, we will talk to you later. There's more of the moves still coming and more videos with me hopefully coming up. Douche Canoe Fraud is out. See ya, suckers. Ah, uh, dang! I was wondering who that was. I, he kind of startled me. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's not quite like his cousin Voodoo. Now but I he had does seen... try. He does try to get himself into some shenanigans, and it doesn't quite work out for him. I hope this young man stays right. I hope he stays right. Because we don't need any more of these idiots out there. Lord, Ugh. no. Lord, no. Yeah, and whenever they start agitating the cops, trying to go all the way around them, you know what? I feel like screaming at my computer screen. What's that? You're full of poppycock. You're full of poppycock. That is not what you do. They are full of it. Oh, yeah. They really are. Yep. And they just need to quit this, the shenanigans. Ooh, they There's some <laughs> there still. Oh, well. Anyway, so, but, yeah. I see you and Lou Chi are almost done with your move. We're getting close. We're about 90% ready. Oh, well, good. Yes, indeed. So, anyway, maybe, maybe I'll be able to see y'all before y'all leave when we're done. Why, yeah. Cool. Why, heck, yeah. So, anyway, but yeah, uh, I just think that these guys are just so full of shenanigans that um, Sometimes you think some of them are staged, huh? Ah, uh, I could, I, I got a feeling I know some of them that are. Because of, uh, because of the demeanor of the frontier, the demeanor of the cops, demeanor of other people around. And I don't see how, how it's not scripted. And, well, and I'll put it this way. It's like a big production number. Yeah, yeah. Almost like a movie. Didn't you watch, you watch that one where Amagansett Press maced the store owner? You watched that one, didn't you? I think so. Remember the cop who came to investigate oh, yeah. the matter? Oh, again, puppycock. Purity staged. That's what I say, too. But yeah. We'll never know. Absolutely, it was staged. So, Had to be. Anyway, but yeah, so if y'all start looking for news now, menopause, I, I, I quit making videos. I quit trying to do anything because I was like, I ah, no one's going to view them. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Anyway, we'll have a star. I'm, uh oh, you getting sleepy? Yeah. Uh, I don't Plus mean. two, I think I feel something else mm. coming on, and uh, I gotta go to. The... Oh, you gotta go visit Baloo, okay? Yeah, I gotta go visit Baloo. Yeah, so, yeah, I hear you. Anyway, how we start? Thank you so much for letting me come over again and talk. Hey, you come over anytime. Okay. Baby. Well, Tiny. Tiny says. You come over anytime. Yeah, all right. Yeah. He's a little sweetheart. Yeah, he is. So anyway, oh, I think he might need to go for a walk out of his door. I hope not. <laughs> you hope not. But it looks like it. Yeah. yeah well, anyway, see you, see you all soon. Maybe we'll see each other again. And don't. Expect the expectation of privacy <laughs> in public and don't answer questions. <laughs> News now menopause out. Well, it took most of your life, but at least you finally saw the light 
of how uh, these frauditors are nothing but a bunch of corrupt morons. Unless this is actually a uh, ploy to uh, get us to believe that you've seen the light, in which case, uh, good attempt at it. Uh, but we shall soon see if uh, that is the case. But who knows? I mean, you got uh, people out there like Big West who saw the light at a young age and decided to become an entrepreneur. I wish him well in his endeavors. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed this parody video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?